Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Cindy, Cindy, C-I-N-D-Y, the, the wife of Jody. As I was sitting there at the back, I realized that so many of you uh, remind me of myself many, many years ago when I first walked into something like this. I was in a hotel. I was one of the executives at the Peninsula Hotel. I spent the first half of my life pretty much wasting my life. In a very successful and worldly way, I did attain all my dreams and hopes and uh, many things that I desired. But the sad part about it is that in my 20s, I felt a sense of success but when I walked into a room similar like this, where the Bible was being taught, I felt really lost. I had a certain sense of something missing. You know, they say life is like a coin. You all have coins in your bags. You own that coin, but you only can spend it once. How you spend it makes a lot of difference in the next part of your life. I pretty much wasted the first half of my life why? Because I was only driven by making a name for myself. Being from a family of nine children, eight daughters, and the middle daughter at that, I felt invisible. I felt that my parents were too busy to notice me. So I kind of tried to get their attention in many ways, being good in school, excellent at work. But I, I found a sense of success that was not really meaningful. You know, I felt that when people walked in, they might not be able to identify with what God was really saying. I sat there the very first time, and all I did at the back, believe it or not, was cry. Here I was dressed in my stiletto heels, working the pen, you had to be dressed in my best suit. But I sat there literally bawling, crying the whole time. Nobody understood. I felt so humiliated. But can you identify with that? When you see a room filled with people who seem to know where they're going, and I didn't know where I was going. But I sat there and I realized I wanted to know more. You know, they say the Bible is God's word. Wouldn't you love, ladies, I'll speak to the ladies, wouldn't you love to know what your special man was thinking? Wouldn't you love to know and read his mind without a word? Do you realize that the word of God is God's thought? all his thoughts for us. I never knew that. I changed myself into many other... I tried to be everything to everyone. I needed a sense of success. But now I've learned that the greatest success I've had in my life is when I failed. You know, just the other night we gathered about 180 people together. And I didn't know what I was going to say because I had prepared something, but it sounded so... Uh, how do you say? You can't identify with it. It sounded too profound. And God moved me to tell them this, that my failure is truly my success. I believe when you're willing to embrace the fact that you've failed, that's the only time you can begin building your building blocks of success. Because the failures and mistakes are what make you who you are. It makes you better. If you don't fail, it means you never try. What am I dragging on? I know you sit there, you're all so young, and I envy you. Because at that age, at this age, you are beginning to know the real meaning of life. I lived half of it without knowing. Which is why, if you notice us, Joby and me, we're in another age of our life, but we're striving even harder to reach more people because we feel the earlier we get you to understand that God is the word in your life that you need. You know, when you read the word of God, you begin to understand him. And believe it or not, you are God's workmanship. The word that you read every day, if you do, builds up who Christ is in you. You are his greatest workmanship. Don't you ever think that there is no purpose for you. Don't you ever think that success means you have to belong to a family name that's famous that you went to the best schools in town. Nothing defines success of the school you came from, the family you belong to, the boyfriend you have, the fact that you're single. To me, success is understanding that you are God's workmanship, created in Christ, 
to do good works. Don't look at the outside. Because if you look at me today, you will never know my journey. But if you know my journey, you will know why I'm passionate. I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm so passionate for people like you to understand that the best is still to come. That you can serve God no matter where you've come from or what you've done. What you've done or failed in doesn't define who you will become. You will become who God decides that you will become if you allow Him. And tonight, I don't know, I just want to say that wherever you are, make a commitment to spend that one life the best you can. Let go of anything right now, be it a man, a woman, a career, or anything that is slowing you down being the best you can be for God. And do not fear, if you walk for Him, He will work for you. Thank you.